At a medical clinic in Greece, 10-year-old Michael Morbius invites his substitute sibling Lucian, whom he renames Milo. Hello, Milo. They bond over their common blood sickness and want it to be normal. Their supportive dad and emergency clinic chief, Nicholas, sorts out for Michael Morbius to go to clinical school in New York while he centers around focusing on Milo. After 25 years, Morbius received a Nobel Prize for his work with artificial blood. His associate Martin Bancroft finds he has covertly caught many vampire bats from Costa Rica expecting to graft their genes with his own to cure his condition. In the wake of educating Milo regarding his arranged and lawful experiment, Morbius gets enough money from him to furnish a confidential hired fighter vessel in international waters with his equipments. While the cure works, it changes Morbius into a vampire who kills and depletes the team of their blood after they assault him out of dread. When his bloodlust dies down and he recovers his senses, Morbius was shocked and he decided to eradicate all CCTV film of his investigation before calling the authorities and he jumped into the water. Morbius gets back to New York and finds he currently has godlike strength, speed, reflexes, and echolocation with his vampire bats regarding him as a bat. To control his bloodlust, he stays alive on his artificial blood until it progressively fails to fulfill his requirements. FBI specialist Simon Stroud and Al Rodriguez investigate Morbius' victims and reason his contribution. Milo learns Morbius is restored, however becomes very angry when Morbius refused to give him the cure. While minding a hospitalized Bancroft, Morbius tracks down a dead nurse with blood drained from her body. Accepting he was capable, he tried to escape before he could be cornered and captured, but it was too late for him. In jail, Milo visited him and offers to use his wealth to free him. After realizing Milo accepted his solution and killed the medical nurse, Morbius escapes from prison and go after him. An ungrateful Milo admits to his bloodlust incited crime and begged Morbius to embrace his powers as he has. Reluctant to hurt his sibling, Morbius escapes. Morbius meets Bancroft and tries to explain what Milo has done before getting another lab and inventing an immunizer against vampirism to pause and kill Milo. He also planned to utilize it on himself since he will become incapable to oppose his bloodlust. Stroud and Rodriguez track down film of one of Milo's assaults and, believing Morbius' vampirism to be spreading, publishing it to the media. Nicholas recognizes it was Milo and begs him to stop. Nicholas got Milo angry. Milo wounds and forces him to call Morbius, who watches Nicholas dies while Milo attacks Bancroft. Morbius gets back to Bancroft, yet she dies in his arms and he drinks her blood. Morbius attacks Milo and summons an army of bats to hood him down while he injects the antibody. Milo dies and Morbius takes off with the bats, grieving his friends and family and embracing his way of life as a vampire. Unbeknownst to him, Bancroft is resuscitated as a vampire herself somewhere else, having ingested a drop of Morbius' blood while he was benefiting from her.